PC Program 4 of Unit 2. Open Visual Studio. Create new web application as we done in previous programs. Now as per program. Create a database with two tables as category, which contain category ID and category name and products which contain products details such as product ID, category ID, product name, price. Description, product image URL for each product. In this program we need some image so first of all, go to the solution explorer. Add image folder and then add some existing images. Now right click on root and select add new item. Select SQL Server Database. You can change name of the database but now here I am not going to change it then click on add. Now as per question we need to create two tables, so for that go to the Server Explorer, then inside out database. MDF find table folder. Right click on it and then select add new table. Then specify tables field as category ID and category name with appropriate data type and uncheck the allow null checkbox. Then make category ID as primary key. Now save table with name as category. Now create new table. Again specify fields for the table as product ID, category ID, product name, description, and image URL set appropriate data types for fields and uncheck the allow null checkbox. Now make product ID field as primary key and here we need to create foreign key to give relation between two tables so for that right click beside category ID field then click on relationship. Then inside box click on add then from tables and columns specification you can give name to that relationship then specify relative column field from previous table category id from category table and category id from current table and click on ok then close this box now save the product table now you have to insert values within table so for that right click on tables name then show table data here you can insert values as I am inserting. Now again insert values within product table. Here category ID is a foreign key so we need to insert values that is present in category tables category ID field. And for product image URL we need to specify path of the image as attaching root. Now save and close the tables. As per question, display name of all the categories in a drop down list and according to user's choice, particular categories products details record should display in a Grivio control. So for that we need to create a new web form. Go to Solution Explorer. Right click on root. Then select add new item. Select Visual C Sharp as language and type as web form and give name as U2P4.ASPX and add it. Go the design section. Then place on label to display select category. And place one drop down menu. Click on smart icon of drop down list. Here important to enable auto post back. Then go the choose data source and Select a data source as new data source, select SQL database and click on next. Specify connection string then click on next then make sure that category table is selected and click on next. You can test query if you want else you can click on finish. Now, inside data field to display, 
set category name and for value set category ID. Click on OK. Now put one grid view control from toolbox. Click on smart icon of grid view control then from choose new data source. Select SQL database and click on OK then choose connection string then click on next. Select product table from drop down click on where clause specify column name as category ID and operator as equal to and choose source as control then specify control ID as drop down list 1 to. Compare category ID of previous table with this table and click on add. Then click on OK. Now from advanced check the two checkbox to allow insertion and deletion from table. Then click on next you can test query then click on finish. Now we need to display image inside product image field where we specified image URL so for that click on edit columns. First of all delete product image URL field here then add image field from available fields. Then specify header text for the image as images then. Specify product image URL field for data image URL field. And you can resize image from control styles as height and width then click on OK. Allow to update and delete records through the grid view. So from smart icon of grid view check the check boxes of enable editing and deleting. Now you can check the output as when I change value of drop down list then it shows corresponding rows of second table.